Good morning. I've been asked several times for things that I do during the first day of classes, so I'm going to talk about one thing that I do on that first day of classes, and then I'll talk about why it is that I do that. Physics. Okay. One thing I do is I take all the students outside and I ask them to alphabetize themselves in a long single line. Alphabetize themselves by last name. <laughs> and then what I do is I go to the end of the alphabet, I get out my video camera, and I begin filming. And I film every student saying their full name, what they would like me to call them, their pronouns, and one word. And, of course, I participate. Hi, I'm Jonathan Thomas Palmer. You can call me JTP or Jonathan. Uh, he, him, his pronouns. You can call me... No, wait. Tied up. Okay, there are many reasons that I do this. First off, that first class period in my school district for some reason is 25 minutes long. There's not a lot you can do though during those 25 minutes, so this is a good activity to do. In addition to that, it gets the kids up and out of their seats, out of the classroom. It forces them to talk to one another. I know it's as simple as, hey, what's your last name? But it does force them to just kind of talk and align themselves by alphabet. So it's just a simple little icebreaker. Um, now, during those 25 minutes, it's hard to take attendance. So I actually use this video to take attendance. After class is over, I just quickly go through the video and I take attendance using the video. In addition to that, having this video avoids that moment where as a teacher, I'm trying to figure out how to pronounce everyone's names because I've asked everyone how to pronounce their names and I have it on video. So if I ever have a question about how to pronounce a first or a last name, I have it on video and I can simply go back and look at it. So think about that. I never have to ask a student how to pronounce their names. It's really, really helpful. I don't, also, I don't have to ask for pronouns. I have those all for, on the very first day. In addition to that, I'm really terrible at remembering names. So this provides me with a tool that I use to memorize all my students' names. I don't use a seating chart, so and they move around, so this is a really helpful way for me to memorize their names. Literally, I watch the video oh, videos over and over again to learn my students' names. It's really, really great. In fact, I, I use it sometimes in the middle of the school year, like after December break, because it's like my brain goes somewhere else during December break. So I always watch them right before classes begin in the beginning of the, uh, of the calendar, or yeah, of the calendar year. And lastly, I use these videos, I show this video on the last day of classes, and it's always fun to watch the, a video from the first day of classes, which includes every student talking on that very last day of classes. So that's one thing I do. Thank you very much for learning with me today. I enjoyed learning with you.